Welcome back. Well, let's get back to Ida. Well, uh, looking at this team and perhaps moving forward now, uh, in terms of the positives, it looks as if we, we have things to be happy about. For instance, the future of this team. We still have um, a, a Moses Simon if he gets fit and gets back to the team. What about the Kele Chinwakali? Do you think that we're able to learn, take the mm. positives from this game and move forward and become a better team in the future? Well, I think the, the, the whole system has to change. You know, I think we give, being gifted as a nation, we're absolutely gifted. But something is wrong with us. Something is wrong with us, which is um, which is psychological. You know, because like I, again, I said, the game we lost yesterday, we shouldn't have lost. The game we lost against Croatia, we shouldn't have lost. The only time we made a difference was when we played Iceland. We just believed. There's this thing, you know, even before you go to the World Cup, I remember when I came to, to your studio at the beginning of the studio, even Chamberlain was laughing at me. When I said we can win the World Cup, you know, but we need to begin to believe. It's like telling Argentina you can't win the World Cup for England. The first thing that the biggest problem we have is not our our inability to play or that we're not gifted. We just don't have belief. I don't know what is wrong with us. We must believe. Everybody believes they can win. Why not Nigeria? You know, the players don't believe. The administrators don't believe. Pontis don't believe. You guys in the studio don't believe. How can we win? It's a problem with us. We must believe we're good enough to win the World Cup. Once we change that mindset, believe you me, we'll get to the semi-finals of the next World Cup and we can win it. That's all we need to do with our national team. But beyond the belief, I mean, there are clearly things that we need to do. For instance, we saw when he became 2-1, a Messi that wasn't fighting and tackling the ball. We saw the the defensive game that brought him great team. We saw him falling and lying on the field. And so there are those aspects of our game as well that we need to improve upon, which eventually will grow. That belief will grow in us, don't you think? How long would, that's what we're saying. How can you fall? How can you tackle if you don't believe? How can you not <laughs> come for the things if you don't believe? If you don't believe, you don't come for nothing. You understand? If you go for nothing, you get nothing. The, our mindset is not right. It is not absolute right. If we get the minds, listen, we are absolutely gifted. Look at the team we have. We're not as, as any other country might be, but there's something going for us. That is the Nigerian will, the, the Niger spirit. But we have the Nigerian spirit when we're looking for money. We have the Nigerian spirit when we're staying up Niger, but when it comes to perform, that's where we need to tweet it a little bit and say, Guys, you are good enough to do this. And the belief must start from, I don't know, from club levels and from our, our, our youth teams. And, you know, we need to build that belief system to the point that we say this World Cup, or we put targets for ourselves. In 2016, we are going to win the World Cup. Once we get that right, everything falls in place. You need to be, you need to be in this uh, uh, Argentina. It's another story for another day. Everybody yeah. wants Phoenix to go. Everybody wants the management to leave. Everybody's talking about, what are we doing here? You know, uh, we need to change our mindset. I'm so pained that this, this, this we are, that, that pig, that pig that prophesied, you know, did not think, did not think well. You know, if, they, if that pig talked well, he would have known. No, you need to believe now. How come you think the pig didn't prophesy well? <laughs> no, they, no, we didn't even believe. Would they say which kind of pig is this? <laughs> you understand pig? Oh, uh, no. dear. Yeah. If no, we'll, 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 we'll get your point quite all right. I mean, it's a valid point, and we need to improve uh, on that system. But there's several. So we have, thank you very much indeed uh, for talking to <laughs> okay. us th this morning. Okay. Well, okay. there you go. Uh, tough one. Okay. It's always emotional when we invest in football like this. But there are so many of us who thought, yes, at least we could have done a little better than we did. But it wasn't to be that's football. So there you go. That's the show today. We well, thank you all for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm Chamberlain Osa. Good night. I'm Jim Bowler. I'm Neil Taibbi. Bye-bye. If you say good night, well, it's goodbye for <laughs> now. Thank you for watching. I'm Maokbe Ogun Yusuf. Thanks indeed, and have a great day. I'm Ajuri Ingalale. The views and opinions expressed by guests on this program are those of the maker and do not necessarily reflect the views, opinions, and endorsement of Channels Television.